Gotta be honest, this one was about revenge. After trying this challenge almost exactly a year ago and failing by a fair margin, I swore that I would come back to this one day and do better. Well, as you can tell, today is that day, and for those who don't know or forgot, the SMR from Black Ops 2 Zombies sucks. And I don't mean the regular kind of sucks, I mean a special kind of bad reserved for guns that you're almost certain were made that way on purpose. Almost like a way for the developers to straight up laugh at you for using it. For context, the SMR straight out of the mystery box does 80 damage for a body shot. A zombie on round 1 has 150 health. So let's try and get to round 50 with it, shall we? And by the way, any likes and comments are greatly appreciated. I'll be picking a comment from this video for my next challenge video. And for you people who always comment about doing no damage challenges, do it without getting hit, here's your chance. Anyway, just like last time, we take up the challenge on town because of its easy access to the mystery box at all times because, let's just spoil it now, there's a lot of mystery box spinning that's going to need to happen. Just like the War Machine video from a few days ago, the mystery box hates me and I didn't get the SMR until round 7 where taking it for a small test drive uh, to get some points told me that it kinda sucks. So I threw it into the pack punch machine and told it not to come out until it had a better attitude like I was its parent. And after a few seconds it came back out with a big smile on its face, ready to keep disappointing me like any good child. Next was to grab Juggernog because there's no way I can fight back zombies who get close without taking a few slaps using the SMR, and even though we're only beginning, let's spoil something else. All of my attempts at this challenge over the last two days have took me over 8 hours of gameplay to do, and since you guys are gamers, I know that you sit at your computer way too much. I go to sleep most nights with a headache, and that makes it a real good thing that now I've got these GMG performance glasses. Right now I'm wearing the optimizer version of the GMG glasses, and you know what? I think I look pretty good. I got to wear these for the last few hours of recording for this video, and surprisingly enough, I didn't actually have a headache when I got up from my desk. And not having a headache is a huge dub. GMG glasses are usually affordable anyway, but right now they're having their Black Friday sale, meaning that they have a 40% discount going on right now. That's almost half off their normal price, so go check the link in the description. The sale ends on November 28th at midnight Pacific time. Like I said, go check the link in the description, go get your own pair. Thanks to GMG Performance for sponsoring this video. That's a lot of SMR, and I think I've kind of gone crazy at this point, but as you guys probably guessed, my dumbass took an early down on round 13 where I did recover and honestly here I probably should have just reset the match. But I wanted to play it out because since I was still warming up to the challenge again I figured you know what it really can't be that bad to stick around and just maybe play out a few more rounds. And just like that I wasted two and a half hours so let's fast forward to round 30 where I ran out of ammo for the first time and my solution since I didn't yet have EMP grenades to stall the zombies and spin the mystery box was to buy Semtex. And those Semtexes can only be found in a very small room room, so uh, yeah, I kinda need to do that until I either got a max ammo or the round was almost finished. You can almost definitely see where this is going, or actually can you, because I've actually bamboozled your asses this time. I finished out the round, got the SMR on my first spin of the mystery box, and kept on going through rounds. Or I did until round 32, where I ran out of ammo again, and this time the tiny room got its revenge with me ending up dead. Honestly, it's fine though, that was just our first try, and honestly the warm-up game, and on our second attempt, it it only took until round 11 to get the SMR for the first time. It was also around this point where I realized that the damage difference between the pack punched and the non-upgraded SMR really wasn't that big, so I just used all of the regular ammo before upgrading it, and I did this pretty much every time from here on forward. That's also a really damning statement for the SMR if upgrading it only gives a real slight damage boost and some extra ammo. Plus, I guess you get the smiley face reticle. Oh well, I chose this suffering, so fuck it, let's continue. Just like last game though, I took an exceptionally stupid first down because, full honesty, I forgot zombies would jump down from the juggernaut room. I never ever ever train around in that area, so it just doesn't occur to me that they can. My second down in an eerie throwback to the first game was on round 29, and even though I did recover, this game got a lot weirder and dumber very quick. On round 31, I ran out of ammo and needed to swap guns, plus I actually had EMP grenades this time, so it should be easy. Well, no, of course not, since uh, I forgot that for the Prestige Master with No Kills challenge, I have my L1 button on my PS4 controller bound to the L on my keyboard. And for some reason, when I tried changing it back to the default settings, it didn't actually work, and I had to 
run around with my controller while spamming my entire keyboard with the other hand. Because I didn't know what key would actually throw the EMP and apparently some of those keys that you can hit open up text menus that stop you from moving. Whoever said playing on PC is simple has never met me before and in case you're wondering it was the 4 key that throws the EMP. For some reason I thought it was a letter but no it's 4. Also how fitting that the key that messed me up is the L key because I definitely took one right there. I also went to go get my new SMR once I did EMP the zombies but now it almost doesn't even matter since I have no quick revives and just like the last game I died on 32. Seriously the parallels between these two matches is almost scary. Anyway third and best game of them all starts right now. I told you that we needed to beat round 42 and motherfucker that's what we're going to do. And because Wootonium is a godsend to humanity at this point it has an option to start your game on round 30 so let's do that and skip the usual bullshit and try to get some higher rounds going. Of course it took like 7 full minutes to get the SMR but once we did get it things were off to the races. My unupgraded disappointment of a child felt strong in my hands killing an entire horde of zombies in only a few magazines. And that right there was the moment I knew therapy really was the option that I needed. This also may be a good time to mention that town is also the best option for our challenge because of its biggest flaw for most people, the lava. It's been a while so someone correct me if I'm slightly wrong here but the lava actually cuts zombie health while they're on fire by something like 14% and when they explode it deals some amount of damage to the other zombies near it. Which is a really good thing and none of the other maps outside of Green Run have this feature and it may be stupid but I'm not dumb enough to do this on Trans or Bus Depot so that leaves me with town. But in news that shouldn't shock you at all, we passed round 32 in this game but that doesn't stop me from constantly needing to swap out the SMR for the new one. The first time I needed to do this was on round 34 where luck was actually on my side and with one zombie left I got my new SMR in only a couple of spins. That luck went away though as normal and I took it down a few minutes later when a zombie spawned in in the worst possible spot at the worst possible time and trapped me against a wall. Not too big of a deal though, I did recover and was able to swap out my SMR again with only a single zombie left. Round 36 was, well let's just not talk about that. Round 37 was down number 3 and I swear it only took 3.5 hits of damage down me which should have red screened me but not killed me. I've been having a lot of weird ass downs lately in this challenge, sort of like that one on Mob of the Dead where I downed in one hit which made no sense. Anyway, but by now I'm kind of worried that this video is actually going to be shit and I wasn't even going to be coming close to my personal best that I've already set. I've got no more quick revives and another 5 rounds that are going to be getting exponentially harder. Seriously, I tried to make these videos good for you guys but I was worried. But wait, what? What is that? What is- Why do I hear summoning Saul music? Yes, after spinning the mystery box for 22 minutes on round 38, I was back in the game for the push to round 40. With the help of a clutch ass insta-kill, being able to shred through dozens of zombies, we made it through only a few more rounds to go. Another insta-kill being the biggest homie on the planet gets us through 40 without needing any mid-round trades, and yet another quick SMR slot means we're on the move. Third insta-kill in three rounds magic isn't quite enough to finish out all of 41 with me needing to EMP a whole horde and do a swap. Oh yeah, last time I did this, some people got confused. Basically, if you EMP the zombies and then don't sprint or shoot, then they won't come after you. It's mega effective for high rounds and safely changing out your guns. Oh, and here we go, tied for our personal best. But getting past it was going to be a hurdle of epic proportions. All of the luck I had built up over the last few rounds just vanished like that. Very quickly, I ran out of ammo, EMP the zombies, and got ready to do a gun swap. Good thing it only took me 15 minutes, and yes, I did swap out a full ray gun Mark II for an SMR. Don't worry, that hurt me inside too. Then guess what? I had to do it again. I traded the Mark II for the fucking SMR twice in the same round. The mystery box hates me, and there's no convincing me otherwise. It knows when I'm doing a challenge, I guarantee you. Despite all of that though, we finished round 42, and it's time to see how long we can ride this wave for. Our first trade of the round on 43 went very quickly, actually only taking about a minute, which is a nice refresher from the last round. Then I was blessed with a lucky max ammo as I was completely empty, and then another one when I was halfway through that ammo. This drop cycle is weird as hell, but whatever, it's been helpful for most of the game so far. And oh, you thought we were done trading out Mark IIs for bad guns? Well, I, th I would think again, gamer. If I have to suffer, then you need to as well. We're in this together. Round 44 time, and we upgrade, shoot some more, and oh, game's over, I guess. Uh, better than last time, so uh, now go watch this video about the hardest zombies challenge I've ever attempted.